Thursday night hot spot on WRU, and we got streets in yeah, the yeah. building. What's going on? I go by the name Uptown Prince. Go by the name Poppin' Tags. You know what I'm saying? The big homie. What's going on? Jeff. What's cracking, though, man? So what's what's good, man? How, how's everything? Good, man. Good. Working hard, man. It's really good to see you, man. I appreciate it. No you know doubt, I mean? man. Seeing always. You again. It's, it's a pleasure. Always. It's a pleasure. You know what I mean? Yeah. For y'all that don't know, um, I met y'all first at the Monday Night Mixture. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Right, 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 sure. With Miss Ice. Yes. What's, what's going on? Miss Ice, we about to go see her, too. Like, yeah, what's up? She, yeah, she's chilling. She's doing right. her thing over there, too. That's always. what it is. Definitely. So. Definitely, it's, it's looking good, man. Definitely, we've just been working hard, man, getting this album done. Finally got it done, finally got the music ready for everybody to hear. Like, I'm, I'm excited, man. That's what's up, that's what's up. So what's the name of the album for everybody? In the Clouds, you know what I'm saying? It, it perfectly places where I'm at right now in my life, you know what I'm saying? The, the state of, of my music, you know, just basically what I'm trying to evoke, the emotions I'm trying to evoke. Basically, let people know where I'm at, you know what I mean? Keep it real with people, nothing you know, fabricated or extra or anything like that. Just, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's right, whether it's wrong, it's my emotions, you know what I'm saying? It's basically me being who I am. That's you know what's what I mean? up. So, That's what's up. So, um, when you say in the clouds, like what do, what huh. do people expect from <laughs> this, this album? Well, yeah. definitely, um, I do, I do smoke, so we, we, we make sure to have a lot of clouds in the area all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's not, it's not only really about that. Really what it's also about is um, just basically my thoughts, man. My mind's always in the clouds. I'm always, like, doing a million things and, and trying to make sure I can get everything done as much as possible. So basically it's just um, a lot of different emotions, thoughts, a lot of different um, things that I've seen, that I've been through that, you know what I mean, um, I just wanted to definitely put it in music form. I got so much on my mind, on my plate, on my <laughs> on my chest, it's time to put some of that to the music, you know what I mean? So, thank you, man, bro. It's been great, man. We get some good responses from it. People really digging it. So, um, when did you start rapping in the first place? Uh, I was gr like blessed to have like great, great like uh, cousins and you know people in place to to pass music down to me. Good tasting, good quality music. <laughs> you know what I mean? So when I was younger, it was just like growing up to that old uh, B.I.G. sound. Like you know what I mean? I just was like, like I couldn't even explain it. You know what I mean? I was like a loss for words just hearing them uh, be able to paint pictures and so vivid. You know what I mean? It was like wow, I couldn't believe it. But what really made me want to do it was um like growing up and when I first heard the Blueprint. Like my cousin, I have uh, cousins who are in the music industry and, and they're really dope, you know what I mean? And I was blessed to have them look out, you know what I mean? And, and put me on that path and, you know what I'm saying? Just a lot of good quality people and quality hip hop, you Absolutely. know what I mean? Biggie was definitely a huge influence, you know what I mean? I, got, I still have the Biggie poster of him blowing the, blowing the L, you know what I mean? I nice. look at that shit every morning. Yes. So I still got that on. Um, and then really Jay-Z, you know, uh, I liked a lot of people growing up, you know what I'm saying? DMX is everybody in my era, you know what I mean? That I was listening to, and then just like I said, I had older cousins in place, so it was really dope for them to put me in line. Like, yo, this is dope. This is where it's at. So, um, you know, growing up, just that I'm a huge Kanye fan too. I, I love the the attention and everything that he uses and what he does for his music. Like, I, I think it's it's incredible. And um, you know, everybody, man, everybody who makes good music, I'm I'm, I'm a fan of music. Describe streets for everybody. Describe who yo, you are. Yo, super artist. real, like super real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just it's just me, my nigga. I mean. Like, I'm really just a young dude, you know what I mean, from the Bronx, just trying to um, basically just let y'all into my life, give you a piece of the stories of, of the things that go on in my hood, show you what really is, you know what I'm saying, going on where I'm from. And, um, you know, what I, what I kind of get from that and what people tell me is, like, a lot of things that I'm going through and I'm living and I see through my hood is a lot of things that's going on everywhere. So, you know what I mean, it definitely can relate. It's just really more so when you hear the album, when you hear a, a young, focused individual who wants more out of life, man, I'm not, I'm not settling for nothing less than, than getting what I want, you know what I mean? And um, basically, you can hear that through the music. It's, it's be, you know, I, I've, I've gone through a lot of different situations and I try to put it through music, you know, losing people, losing relationships, different things, and just me growing as a person, and I wanted to put all that in the music. And I think you get that, you know what I'm saying? You get that when you hear it. This right here is called Cut You Good. I mean, it's really called something else, but we hear at Rutgers, you know what I mean? I'm not going to say it on the radio. So tell, yeah, tell us a little bit about it. Um, basically, it's, it's a real fun record. It's for, you know, it's us chilling in the club, after the club, you know, doing what it does. Y'all got a head. You definitely going to get it. And it's a fun record. It's just about you being with your lady, you know what I mean? And y'all having a good old time and you letting her know that you're going to put it down when you, when you see it, you know what I mean? Hey. Gotta be confident, you know, ladies like that, you know oh, what I mean? Need to be confident. Definitely. <laughs> Alright, so this is the boy Streets, we cut you good. Yeah. Over here at WRNU, the campus beat. Yeah. Yeah. Line up. Yeah. 
so it's popping, man. What's going on? What the ladies at out here? Man, don't do like I do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Girl, tell me. What's up, though? Yeah, I can, I can, I can see that moving. I can see that moving in the strip clubs, man. Yeah, that, <laughs> we're gonna shoot a movie for that. My man, let's say right here. That's you know, what's he's up. in the building shooting. He's making movies right now as we speak. That's what's up. So, you got any uh, music videos coming out? In, uh, That's movie? what we're doing right now. We actually, um, we working on tons of things right now. We got like. Four or five in the making, so we just like getting ready to start shooting up. Anybody you want to feature with that you haven't gotten a chance with, who would it um, be? Right I mean, like aside from the greats, obviously, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna name it, <laughs> any of those, but like I would like to work with like Meek Mill, I think he's dope. Um, like people, you know what I mean, who I respect, who are doing music that I respect, like uh, I like LEP Bogus Boys, they're pretty dope. Um, Big Crit is really dope. You know what I'm saying? A lot of so, don't yeah, know about Big Crit. yeah, Big Crit is dope, man. I was I used to live in Atlanta mm -hmm. like last year, so I know he, he got some some fire. But aside from that, like just a lot of the younger dudes who's doing it, you know what I mean? Um, like um, aside from here from New York, like there's not a lot of young dudes that's from here. You know what I mean? We about to revitalize. You know what I mean? We about to bring that feeling back. But uh, like basically everybody doing their thing right now, man. Anybody who's doing their thing, I'm I'm willing to work, man. I'm positive, dude. You know, I send that vibe. You send it back. We good. I can dig it. You know what I mean? So tell the people. I know you always say you grind. You can yes. Tell working. a person what a day in the life of you is like. <laughs> keep, keep, keep it, keep it, keep it PG. Yeah. We keeping this PG right now. Keep it PG thirteen. <laughs> <PG. laughs> <laughs> nah, um, you know, basically just getting up. You know, what I mean, the first thing I do, I get up. You know, what I'm saying, I thank God I'm up. You know, what I'm saying, and then I, I reach over and I either got one roll, or I start rolling one. You know what I mean? And um, we start off there. And then, you know, start making some moves. I normally call Jay up and I'd be like, yo, Jay, what's going on? What's the what's the order of business for the day? He'd be like, yeah, we got this show. We got this lined up, this, this, and the third. And I normally just uh, knock out what he needs me, do some drops for DJs, do a couple things. And um, basically start promoting and then start making money, man, going about my business, going, doing what I do on, on you know, on my daily grind, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's it, really funny. You know what I mean? Chilling, man, you know, getting money in and just chilling with my, all the homies uptown, man. Shout out to Vice. Shout out to Killer Jobs, Murder Mart. I got all the homies up there just chilling, mobbing. That's you know exciting. what I mean? So we good. And um, aside from that, just really working on music. That's what most of my day goes to. Like, I keep it a buck with you. It can sound all glamorous and all that, but I'll be in front of the computer. My homies be there twisting up, chilling, and they be like, yo, for real, what you gonna do? I'm like, yeah, I'm about to work on another song. I know I just finished. It's about, you know, like, Jay will tell you, I just sent him a song we did, like, Two days ago, he's like, yo, what is this for right now? I'm like, yo, I don't know. But they're coming out this hot, we don't need to keep asking. We just exactly. going, you know what I mean? So basically, that's all it is, man, just working. Like I said, I'm a student of the game, and I, I really want to be, you know what I'm saying, really, really good, and um, I'm going to work my way there. In the music game right now, we see a whole lot of just different, I, I can't even explain, yeah. just a lot of different things. So you, you got the Rick Rosses of the yeah. game, the, I mm -hmm. guess the Mafia music, whatever you want to call it, the, the Ross Jeezy kind of thing. You got the Drakes of the game, the yep. Crybabies. And you got the, <laughs> and then you got the, um, you know, the tight pants, the you yeah. know, new boys, and all kind of stuff. Uh -huh. Like right now, what do you think is lacking in the hip hop game overall? Um, just like, I think, I think it's pretty good. Like right now, to be quite honest, because what I like about it is people are being creative. I think what's lacking in the New York scene of hip hop is just people being real. Like we all don't sell coke, we all don't kill people, and we all don't have sex with. 15 women a week is just not the reality of it. You know what I mean? Everybody got to be themselves, man. You got to be you. Like, anything I say in my music is because, like, I've done it, I'm doing it as we speak, or it's because I've seen it close by to, like, brothers, you know what I'm saying, by me. And it's always going to be that way because it has to be who you are. Like, music has to be an indication of who you are as an individual. It's, it's your art. It's what you show to people. Yeah. And it, I think a lot of artists forget that. You are artist, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. And if you can't, like get your art out in a way that people can understand you and, and you could be individualized to who you are like not with the pack of the rest of the people then it's not good you know what i mean and that's what i think as far as like lacking in new york hip-hop i think we just all got to be us man there's a lot of dudes who get picked on so let's go into a, another track oh yeah we in um definitely by working you know make working it, hard and doing everything it's called make it it's, it's the one. first joint one. you know what I mean? and we definitely you know we on here it's definitely this it's it's really about you know Want things and uh, doing what you got to do to get it, and making sure that uh, you know, no matter what you've lived through, whatever circumstances have gone on, you you stay positive, and if you want it, you got to jump at the chance, and that's yep. what it's about. You got to make it, baby. No doubt. So, uh, give the song to everybody so everybody knows what they're listening to. Death, death. You already know. It's streets. Your boy, streets. Make it. On the album cover, 
Yeah, you guys can't see it right now, but and the album cover is actually quite interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, t- t- tell everybody about it. Um, Yo, and how'd you come up to with this uh, concept? Basically, what it was, um, I was working with a, a really good friend of mine named Danielle from Florida. Like, shout out to Danielle, cause she actually like jump started this whole um, like. I came out with all these ideas of like songs, concepts, and like, yo, I was like, yo, it's really important to me that when I work on my visuals for the album, the front and the back, there's something creative, that it's something that people just aren't gonna just like bypass. I wanted it to be something that people would like show that I, I actually thought about it. So for me, it was like kind of like branding my whole self, like from, from everything. This is my first album, this is everything that should be taken seriously, you know what I mean, from here on out. And, like it was just for me, I wanted to get that industrial, that that hard, grungy look from like old school New York feel, from like the '60s, the '50s, the, you know, the, the hard times. So like it was really important to me because I think that's where I'm at right now in my career. Like it's the hard times we we working, like things is good. I thank God for everything, but at the t- end of the day, like if we don't work to get where we want to be, we won't be there. So like I kind of understood that I, I kind of like it meshed everything really good together, and what I wanted to do was really just like. Put that perfect. I seen the smokestack. I seen it was from the Bronx. It was just like she came, she threw it at me. She was like, "What do you think about this?" And it was just like perfect, man. We just it was a perfect marriage, man. She works great, man. We, we did some real magic there. And then on the back of the album, I got a, um, I got a, a guy. I think his name is Jeff F. Yeah, shout out to homie and, and shout out to Takeover <clears throat> and, and and the homie Hate. Got some CDs here. If y'all definitely want to listen to. CDs here. And Ruckus, you already know. And all that yep. good stuff. So you definitely. <laughs> and if y'all even want to support, y'all could definitely support and go pick it up on iTunes because I got it there right. You know my business is right. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Go on so. iTunes. Support. <laughs> support the music. Nah, no, nah, definitely, man. Like what's most important to me though, like I said, was just having people listen, man. I appreciate y'all time and I appreciate y'all listening today and when y'all listen to the album. Definitely, definitely. definitely. Uh, you know, something for the ladies because I mean I would really love. A lady to come up here from Rutgers and, and show me what's going on in this beautiful town in Newark. You know what I mean? What's cracking? What the after party looking at? I said, I said, baby, all these dudes lame. I don't pay them no mind. All these girls hating bitches spotted from the dough rat. You step in with them hills that they wanted, but it's your night and you won't give it back. But you won't throw it back. Plus that dress that you're wearing, girl, we could drink to that. With the back piece out and you're showing off your tats. Damn show that you a 10, that's word to the dream Like I pulled the drive by, how you murder in the scene Why I think we make a match, cause you're young and stay clean Hard denims, new mics, Dutch roll not too tight So rock mix that with Sprite, the straight shots get you right Shotties in, ah, shotties to each other We somewhere in the sky, I tell her slow down She say I'm living for the night hey. You know what I mean, a little something, a little something You know what I mean, too heavy so, so tell them where they can find you Definitely, they can find me on Twitter at underscore streets, S T R E T Z. And on the website, man, you can definitely download this track and the whole album on www.streetsny.com. We on there heavy, baby. SLC. Ruckers, we love you. There you go. This was the Thursday Night Hotspot. I go by the name of the Latino Prince Young Pop, aka the Music Group, BKA Mr. 2 Alpha TV. Yeah. This is WRNU, the campus beat. Yeah. We rock out next week. we about to close it out with the. With the I'm Boss remix. Uh, I feel boss. That, that that's just fit right now. You heard this, dude. Boss, 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 T.I., Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, Swiss Beats. Let's, let's go. Bronx.